Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Miguel and in this video we will create a brain trainer. So we will create a cool application that will generate random formulas and the goal is that the user writes down the correct result to train his or her brain. This application will generate formulas of plus, minus and multiplication and we could simply adjust the difficulty by setting the range of our random numbers. So this will be the final application we have in score to indicate an achievement. This is our random formula and the goal is to write down the correct result. So in this case 4 multiplied with 6 will be 24. This was correct. So our application had generated a new formula and had increased our score. I hope you like this video and I will start right now. So let's get started. So let's start by creating a new project and I would like to do some adjustments. So I would like to change my caption of my form to brain trainer. I would also like to add a panel to my top and therefore I will create this panel. It's a kind of container to hold and, and uh, yeah, to container to store multiple components and I would like to set the alignment to AL top and now this panel will stick on the top of my form. I would like to change the caption of this panel to score the color to something like this blue but now my font is not so easy to read so I would like to change my font color to CL white the font size maybe to 12 and the style to FS bold I think this is good to read so but I would also like to change the score in runtime so I would like to change my name to PNL score to better understand an access to this component. And now I need my formula and therefore we need some labels. So we need the first number, something like 12. And of course I would like to change my name to LBL number one. We need an operation like a plus operation or minus. So something like plus and let's change this name to LBL plus um, the LBL operation because we will generate multiple operations like plus, minus and a multiplication. We also need a second number for instance 8 and let's change the name to LBL number 2. We also need the equals character to, to display in correct formula and we need a component for the user to type in the correct result and therefore I will create an edit component and I would like to rename it to edt result. I would also like to clear the text and I would like to set numbers only. Now we could resize our application a bit, something like this. And I would like to create a button. And if the user clicks on this button, our application will check whether the result is correct and if the result is correct, it will generate a new formula. So I will rename this button BTN next and change the caption to next. I think this is everything we need. And now we could start coding. But before we start, I would like to save my project in my tutorials folder. And I think this is Lazarus minus eight. And let's rename this project to something like Brain Trainer. Unit 1 is a good name. And now we need to generate our formula. And this is a bit tricky because we have to generate 
is formula at two different places. So we could generate it while the application is creating our form. So because um, I would like that our application starts with a random generated formula and not every time with 12 plus 8. And we need to generate this formula if the user has um, written down the correct result. And therefore, I will do a declaration of a procedure. And we will learn about creating procedures and functions, I think, in the next video. So I will keep it simple. And therefore, I will do my declaration of my procedure in T form 1 public. And this declaration is really simple. You just have to write down the keyword procedure and name something like generate formula and in semicolon. Now you could write down the procedure in the under the implementation part, or you could tell Lazarus to automatically generate this procedure. And therefore you just have to press Control Shift C. So really nice. And what does it mean to automatically generate in formula? Basically it's really simple. We have to set our first number, our operation and our second number. So we could start with number one, caption equals, now we want to write down the number. So we have to convert this number to in string and therefore we are using into string. And this number should be a random number. And there is a function called random. And in the round brackets, uh, so random, and this will generate a random number and you could define a range in the round brackets. So that's really simple. And let's just redo this with the second number to also generate another random number. But we also need to generate a random operation and therefore I will use the if statement. So I will ask if random 2 and this will generate a random number of 0 or 1. If random 2 equals 0, I would like to generate a plus calculation. So I will simply say LBL operation caption equals plus. But if it's not 0, it will be 1. And in this case, I would like to generate a minus calculation. So I'm s simply setting LBL operation to minus. And that's basically all we need. So we could try this out by double clicking on BTN next and write down generate formula. And this will simply execute our procedure. So let's test it. And this will generate random formulas. But wait a second. Although we are generating random numbers, this formula will be the same every time. So the first one will be 10 minus 11. And now let's redo this. And it's the same. This seems to be strange, but at one time we have to tell our application to execute the procedure randomize and this will create a random pattern. So at one point means we have to execute this procedure and I would also like to create start with a random generated formula. So I don't want to start with 12 plus 8 every time. And there is an interesting event in form 1, go to events, and there's a really important event on create. And this um, event will be executed when our application tries to create this form. So basically at the application start. So double click on on create to do an 
declaration of this procedure. And now I would like to execute my procedure random formula, but I also like to execute this procedure called randomize. And now we will have random formulas. So this is great. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to check whether, whether our result is correct and therefore we have to modify our next button. So let's remove this. What I like to do is I like to check whether our operation or our um, calculation is correct and therefore I would like to save our input and the numbers in variables. So I would dec start with a declaration of the integers number one, number two and number result. And to check our result, I will simply recalculate the correct result and save it in number result. And then I will do a comparison whether the user has written down number result. So let's get the first number. And the first number is LBL number one caption. But this is in string and this is an integer. So we have to convert the string to an integer using string to int. And we can do the same stuff with the second number. And now we need to, yeah, to calculate the correct result. So what I like to do is I like to ask what operation we are using. So if LBL operation caption equals plus, the correct result will be, number result will be number one plus number two. But if it's not the plus character, it will be in minus operation. And so number result will be number one minus number two. And now I simply need to ask whether the result is correct. So if edt result text equals number result, and we have to convert this string to an integer. So string to int. If it's number result, then we want to generate a new formula. But I would also like to show um, the user that the user has done something correctly. And I would like to have a score because a score is a good idea of giving an achievement. So let's start with a declaration of our score. And I cannot write down the declaration of the score in my BTN next procedure because this will cause that our score will be deleted every time when our user clicks on BTN next. But this is not the correct behavior. What I would like to have is that the um, BTN next procedure will increase my score. And therefore I have to save my score, for instance, in the unit declaration of variables. And the score should have the data type integer and should be initialized with zero. And what we just need to do is we need to say score equals score plus one, or you could use increase score. The double slash indicates in command. That's also really important. So I could do something like um, calculate the correct result and this will be ignored by our compiler so let's try it out but i would also i forget forgot something i'm sorry i would also show a message when the user has written down an incorrect result so if the result is not correct so in the else part i would like to do a show message your result is not correct. 
retry. And now let's try this out. This will be... Oh. That's interesting because this will be... I'm sorry, we cannot use numbers only because we will also get negative results and therefore we have to write down a minus character which is not in yeah which is not a number so i'm sorry for this so 1 plus 16 equals 17 and this is co correct so we have generated a next formula and if i would write down something incorrect like 2 I will get in show message. But I also want to show my achievement, my score, and we could change the caption of this panel in our button, but we could also change it directly in formula. And therefore, we have to simply say btn score caption equals score, score, plus, and now we want to display an in integer in a string, so into string score and this is basically all we need so everything works correctly and that's great right i also want to show you how you could do a multiplication i mean this application is really simple and it's also really simple to add another calculation and therefore I would like to change my formula so I would like to start with a declaration called random op for random operation and this should be an integer random op will equal something like random 3 and now I would ask whether random op is 1 and in this uh, zero and in this case I will do a plus calculation if it's one I would like to do a minus calculation so I also have to ask else if random op equals one then I would like to do a minus calculation and if random op is not plus or minus it will be a multiplication so else lbl operation caption equals the multiplication character and we also need to change our button to calculate the correct result so if plus if lbl operation equals plus we want to calculate plus if it else if lbl operation equals minus we would like to calculate the minus result and if it's not plus or minus it will be multiplication and therefore we have to uh, we have to set number result as number one multiplied with number two and this is every change we needed now we should, could test this application and this looks great right I hope you learned something from this video and I would also like to hear some feedback. This application is quite complex for a beginner and we learned some really interesting new stuff. So we learned how to generate a random number, we learned how to do a declaration of our first procedure, we, need, we learned how to randomly generate formulas and we learned how to um, simply check whether in the result is correct by calculating the correct result and then checking whether our user has written down the correct result. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you could download the source from my website and I'm simply saying bye. Bye.